back to SciTech and Mountain Earthworks training videos. Trimble now offers a screen viewer option that can go on your either TD510, 520, or 540 that will allow you if you have Works Manager set up on it, meaning you have an SNM 941 and an air card on the machine. Now you can use Works Manager to not only view with the remote here, as you can see for a machine where you've got the green icon where you can view. Now if you drop this drop down bar over here, you can see that there's technical view and operator view. Technical view we've always been able to do and get in the back end, which is the web interface, um, manage the machine. There's an option in there to just do operator view, which is just a view of what the operator is seeing on the screen, but you can't manage it. The app that now can be installed on the TD allows you here, as you can see, this operator view, it's just grayed out because it actually hasn't been set up on this TD yet. So in this video, I wanna show you how to do it. And there's two ways to do it. One is to download the APK file from Trimble and actually load it through the, the screen or use the app central. And I'm gonna show you the easiest way that I find because there's already an error card on this machine. So from your TD here, this is a 520. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the circle with the dots on it. And in here, there's an App Central option. At the very top right here is a row of different areas for it to look. There's a Trimble tab right there. If you go to the Trimble tab, there's an option in there that now shows up called Screen View for TD. All you have to do if you're going to do it this way is go ahead and click on here. And there's the View for TD 520 because it knows this is a 520. And we can install it. So if we go ahead and hit the Install button, it'll download it and install this screen will come up to install. You go ahead and hit install. The second option in order to get that APK file onto the device that you're using without using App Central is to simply just put your thumb drive in here. Go ahead and go to the circle with the dots in the middle of it. You still go into the App Central option here, but instead of doing the tab at the top like I showed you earlier how to do it this way, you can actually hit the plus symbol in the bottom right and then where it looks almost like an SD card, if you click that, you can still go in here, go to your thumb drive, and actually go down and find where you've got it on your thumb drive. In here, I've already brought on the screen viewer Trimble for the TD510, 20, and 540. Whatever I run across, I'm covered. I can go ahead and click on it and download it this way and install it. You'll still have to do the exact same thing once it's installed to allow the, the TD side of it, the Android side to work, but you can manually enter it or you can do it through the App Central on the Trimble tab. I think it might be easier, honestly, if you've got an operator in the seat and he's remote, he's far away, you don't have time to get out there and actually give him a thumb drive that has the file on it, just have him go here because the machine, in order to work with what, uh, Trimble Works Manager, already has to have an air card on it. So as long as he's in the cell network, a cell area, he can just go ahead and download it or you can this way. Um, the foolproof way is to do it through the thumb drive if nothing else works that way. Once it's actually installed, there are a couple things because it's an Android device that's gonna uh, require us to do some allow. So in order for it to show up over here active, right now it says inactive, is where you has the open option here. Click open. Once you're here, you can see where there's trying to connect to the cloud, allow control. If you click the allow control, it's gonna take us to the accessibility part. And right here at the top where it says remote.it control that's off, if you click on that, you can go in here and actually allow remote IT control. So you just toggle this on and go ahead and say okay to that. Once that's on and you come back, you don't need to do anything else in here you can simply close out of these screens right here. And on your computer, go ahead and just refresh the page. Then navigate to where that machine is and wait for the remote access to come back on. As the remote access comes back on for your machine, now you can come back to the right side here and where the green screen is right here, click this down, and now you can see that there's operator view and technical view. Technical view, if I click on this, if none of you have actually done this before, let me show you. This gives you, and we've always had this access, you can come into the back end right here and actually go into the web interface. You can still manipulate the machine and do what you need to here. As long as the operator is not in the cat grade app and working it, 
you can actually unlock on the back end. If the operator is running cat grade and in there, as soon as you hit unlock, it'll actually send a message to him and he'll have to review that. But right now I'm logged into this excavator that I have this 335 and I can get in here and actually do what I need to. But the new option that came out is this operator view. And it's not based on me being just in cat grade. It's basically the ability to manipulate the screen wherever you need to at this point. So this will help with teaching your operators, training your operators. If you need to do any diagnostics, both in the web interface and the operator web eye where they're actually operating, you can do that. So now that I've got this up on the screen right here, I can actually go ahead and start cat grade from right here. So if the operator was brand new or he was struggling with something or the machine was just running and you need to do some diagnostics, like I said, you can work both ends. So instead of using the TD that's tied to my excavator, I can go ahead and log in right here. There is a little bit of a lag. Don't be alarmed if you have a little bit of a lag. I, as I've done some testing here, as I click the button here, depending on how good the internet is in between either the excavator or machine that's running an air card or the air card that's on your device here. You can be remote, um, you could be in the office. I'm just doing it here to kind of show you side by side. Once we're here, same thing. I can either touch on the screen right here if I was the operator, I was on the phone with him. I can go ahead and start my project here. The, the person on the other end is gonna see it with just a little bit of a lag. So now, not just operator view, which you can normally do from the web UI, now I can actually see what the operator is doing here, but what I can also do is take over control and actually click buttons. So if I needed to help him with, let's say, vertical offset, I can go ahead and click on the vertical offset. Now I could go in here and actually help the operator through certain things if I needed to show him the option for here. You know, if I wanted to click on the advanced options, I can go down here and show them the difference between vertical and perpendicular. Whatever it is, it now gives you on the back end access to help your operators. One, to see what they're doing. Two, to help them through if they're new operators. Um, the technical side of things, like I said, you can still come in here, um, change screens. There is options right here for the keyboard that shows you exactly if you're doing it remotely, how you would deal with it on the back end. But now what I can do is I can hold my shift and I can scroll in with my mouse and actually view the screen. The way you would swipe the screen here is alt and then take your mouse and actually swipe across the screen, cl left clicking. So once again, hold alt and then left click and you can swipe across the screen to change screens to see what the operator's got going on. If you wanted to verify that he's on the right mode, you can still go into your shovel with the gear here or push and hold on the pad at the top there. Now you can come in and actually go to job setup, see what's going on. Honestly, think outside the box on how you want to help the operators out. Now you can come in here and see the project I'm on, see the design, I'm on infield, et cetera, et cetera. So diagnostics tool, how I would use this is I would have the operator start moving the machine. I would actually watch and see what's going on. Um, it's not a telltale. It's not used to necessarily spy on the guy, but you could use it to kind of come in here and now manipulate, help him out. You can see if mapping is on, whatever it is. But just remember in your web, this is only for works managers machines that have air cards on them. You have both options here. It has to be running. Hopefully this helps with uh, being able to manipulate the machine, see what they're doing. Same thing. This is not just for the cat grade or earthworks app you can actually come in here and do what you need to hitting the the square at the bottom the circle this is this is for the whole entire system system wide so if you had any other apk files on there that needed to be added if you had a pdf viewer on there and you wanted to help show the operator what pdf image he needs to be looking at for the job site it's not just through the apps there but Thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos on using the new Trimble TD screen mirroring app to help your operators.